The growing popularity of mountain style square dance, or clogging as it is commonly referred to, may well have made being a redneck respectable. Festival director Bob Johnson says clogging is part of a nationwide trend toward the folk arts. The thing that gave us the biggest shot in the arm was the bicentennial. It uh, brought people, I think, back to the country, back to the folk arts and the folk things. The dance, which is a mixture of every culture brought to American shores, was preserved for years among the country folk of the Appalachian Mountains. Like the real heavy downbeat step was German coal miners, and then the Highland flings, where their, their feet was up and their toes and what have you. Uh, uh, the leg movements of uh, Irish, Scottish, uh, you know, Scandinavian countries. There's even evidence of Indian influence. All American Indian dances uh, work to imitate four-footed animals. So they try to make their two feet sound like four, and we have a double toe in our clock. The routines break down into two basic categories, traditional and precision, set to tunes that are as much as 125 years old, although some cloggers also work out to bluegrass and country music. The cloggers say it's as much fun as it looks. Many have been doing it for a number of years, despite their tender age. Yeah, well, it's a lot harder to get boys to clog than it is to get girls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got more girls on this team. <laughs> All that means, though, is your partner may be a little taller. In Chesapeake, Kathleen Bachman, The Daily News.